Se lo straniero vince per le nozze e se gli perde, e se bello e bello. Io preparo le nozze e io le seguie, le nozze da terre di festa, le piaghe da terre di tutto. Oh, my God. 
Basti l'arci e c'è verso i libri sacri. Sì, sì. 
Sospira barone morose, di rugiola si impellano i fiori, gloria, gloria nel corpo di scinto, e il ministero di una casa, gloria nel pezzo l'amore, alla vacina la pace li dà, alla chiglia la pace li dà, la pace li dà. Questo sogno è imparato già per me, volagna, ferme di sedili e volati, unite tra l'amburo del tempo verde, già ci non è finita, ci ha fatto di pechino. Unite tronte, faccio che pace, già inizio c'è di volare. Andiamo a goderci del desimo suffizio.
fede alla fosco fatto. Il santo scettro che io stringo, gronda di sangue. Della tua giovine vita. Thank you. 
and lights back up with the people hailing the aged Emperor Altum, their arms outstretched toward him, a bearded figure in black amid the bright splendor of the court. The gold curtain is now down on that colorful crowd, the brilliantly costumed, celebrated chorus, ballet, and seekers of the Metropolitan Opera in this stunning Zeffirelli production of Puccini's Turandot. You're listening to another Saturday matinee broadcast live from the Met. The Metropolitan Opera House in New York City. Now the bow lights are on. The gold curtain is shining before us. And in a moment we'll hear the, we'll see the prince and princess. Here they are. Lando Bartolini kissing the hand of Gwyneth Jones. Bowing to the house, Gwyneth Jones in robes of sparkling, icy, pale turquoise, but no longer wearing her imposing starburst headdress. With the solution of the riddles, her long, dark hair was loosed and now was flowing down her back. And now, here come the three ministers, Jen Joe, Tony Stevenson, Philip Creech, Jen Joe Ping, Tony Stevenson Pang, Philip Creech Pong, with their colorful costumes leaving the stage now, but their costumes are outdone by their three counterparts, the three masks, and here they are, the three dancers, Ricardo Costa, Joseph Fritz, and Christopher Stotter, waving their colorful fans that you probably heard clicking in company with the music during the dancing, the riddle scene of Act Two.
Come here. 
Back out and lights up again on the glory of the Imperial Court of Peking with a formerly unknown prince now victorious in splendid ceremonial robes hailed by the courtiers of the people of Peking, the Metropolitan Opera Chorus, Ballet, and Seekers. Getting down again on that dazzling scene, the final act of Giacomo Puccini's last and many say greatest opera, Turandot. There are five more performances at the Met this season, all in February, including one next Saturday evening. Now the bow lights are on, and we'll have our hero, hero and heroine. Here they are, facing the whistles and bravos of his Metropolitan Opera audience, Lando Bartolini and Gwyneth Jones. Kneeling, bowing, the no longer unknown prince and the no longer icy princess. Queen Gwyneth. Again in her magnificent pale turquoise robes with a glistening starburst headdress. Now they've left, but we'll have next Paul Plishka and Maria Spakanya. Timur and Liu, deposed king and loyal slave after that deeply poignant death scene. Maria Spakanya kissing each other now. Mishka applauding Miss Bacania, Maria Bacania in a brown woolen cloak over a patterned dress of deep red and gold, Paul Mishka in sleeveless tunic over pale robes. And here is Charles Anthony, the Emperor Altum, his 108th role for the Metropolitan Opera in more than 2,600 performances at the Met. And here are Jane Joe, Tony Stevenson, Philip Creech, Deng Zhou as Ping, Tony Stevenson as Pang, Philip Preach as Pong. Bowing to the applause, and now waving to the curtain, calling on their ballet doubles, Ricardo Costa, Joseph Fritz, and Christopher Stocker, members of the Metropolitan Opera Ballet, who were the dancing versions of Ping, Pang, and Pong, but an even more exotic and flamboyant costumes. Now they've all left, and we'll have Paul Prishka next. Here he is. A wave, a roar of bravos, our comic Dul Camaro last month. And in April, he'll be Tutorel in Parsifal. For the Met, he has sung the title roles in Falstaff and Boris Godunov, Leporello, Prince Gremian, Dosefe, and Kovanschina. More than 50 roles for the Met. Maria Spakanya, another wave of bravos. This year, she also sings Butterfly for the Met. Genoa, Rome, Torre del Lago, and Berlin. Liu and Choto San are roles he has also sung for La Scala and other houses in Europe and America, waving to the audience now, smiling as the applause continues. She's from Providence, Rhode Island, and made her Met debut in 1991 in the title role of Verdi's Louisa Miller. Here's Lando Bartolini. Another roar of bravos. He has sung Cala for La Scala, Covent Garden, Munich. He was the Manrico of the Trovatore broadcast and the Cavaradossi of the Tosca broadcast just two seasons ago. He applauded the orchestra, blew a kiss to the house, now bowing. He was Robin Ace and the Aida broadcast of December 91, waving as he leaves. Also met Andrea Chenier. And next will be Gwyneth Jones. Smiling at a bouquet landing just near her, Dame Gwyneth Jones. She will be Kundry in the Parsifal broadcast, April 22nd. Another bouquet. She just missed it. She was the Turandot of the Met broadcast in 1990 and 92. Among her many roles here, the Marshallin, Isolde, Salome, Electra, Fidelio, bowing to the house, holding the bouquet against her breast. All three Brunhildes for the Met and for Bayreuth. And she will be turned out again for Covent Garden this season. Smiling and turning to leave. Now she's behind the gold curtain. And next we have our conductor today, Nell Osanti. Here he is. And the bravos resound. He conducted those turned out broadcasts of 90 and 92 and also in 88. Last season we heard him conduct Lucia, which he did recently for San Francisco. He has conducted 18 different operas for the Met since his debut here in 1962 with Unballo in Mascara. The bravos continue, the bows continue. He's brought on Lando Bartolini and Gwyneth Jones, Maria Spacania and Paul Plishka, Charles Anthony, 
Jen Joe, Tony Stevenson, and Philip Feats. Maestro Santi, in between Gwyneth Jones and Maria Spacania, and the applause continues as Miss Jones begins to leave. Next week, at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, you can hear Rossini's The Barber of Seville with Jennifer Larmore, Stanford Olson, Thomas Allen, Enzo Dara, and Nicola Gaura. The conductor will be David Atherton. Intermissions for these broadcasts are produced for Texaco by Michael Bronson, associate producer Elaine Warner. For the Texaco Metropolitan Opera International Radio Network, network producer is Ellen Godfrey, audio director J. David Sachs, operations director Bill King, and intermission audio production by Ed Beatty. The entire cast and conductor are bowing once again to the Bravos here at the Metropolitan Opera House. This is Peter Allen from the Metropolitan Opera House in New York City. This is the Texaco Metropolitan Opera International Radio Network.